Alrighty guys, um, this video was an idea I got from YouTube user Ryan Garrett. Uh, we were talking just about random shit, and um, yeah, so I'm doing an overview video of my 2014 custom build named Sassy. Um, as you can tell, it's on the floor, well, close enough anyway, and look at that. That's disgusting. I really need to clean this. Thankfully, it's got filters all in there. Um, so, it's pretty hard to see. And um, the radiator fan is loud as scrotum hair. So, your scrotum's hair makes noise. Hmm. Got your stickers. Uh, blue power LED, power button. One USB 3 microphone and headphone. I'm gonna grab a torch so you guys can see. There we go. Uh, USB 2 reset button and uh, hard drive indicator LED. Here we have some optical drive. I think it's supposed to be Samsung or something. I actually have no idea. Um, it reads, it burns, it does what it's supposed to do, and it doesn't get used. Um, two more slots right there for like optical drives, fan controls, whatever. And one for a floppy drive or a uh, card reader. There you can see the Cooler Master badge. And in there we have a BitPhoenix, uh, some sort, no, uh, BitPhoenix, that. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah, that blue LED in there. Um, the specs, ugh, this chair's really comfortable by the way, the specs are, it's got a Core i3, uh, 3240 gigabyte B75M D3H motherboard, a Corsair CX500M, which is modular power, su power supply, uh, I'll just look at the boxes, how about that, that'll make life easier. It's got 8 gig of G-Skill Aura's RAM. The cool is that, Antec Kahula, H20650. Got a random Cooler Master fan in there. Uh, the graphics card is that, and if you guys can't read, that says Gigabyte NVIDIA GeForce GT630. Uh, wireless card is a TP-Link 300, me 300 megabits per second PCIe adapter thing. It gets internet for me. Hmm. And the case is a Cooler Master. I can't remember. I think it's like K350 or something like that. Yeah, K350. Um, yes, yeah, so let's have a look. Minimize that for now. Uh, there's my two hard drives. Got two 500 gigs. That my main local disc C. That's Atachi. Then games, which I don't actually use, is um, WD Blue. Um, Facebook. It's got Windows 7 Ultimate, 64 bit. I paid a whopping, uh, well, I don't know how much my mum spends on the internet, so, yeah. In other words, Pirate Bay, yo. Uh, there we go. There's specs yet again. Got a Giga Nipple doohickey. Uh, computer name, Sassy, you know, 2014 CB. WEI is pretty shitty, uh, what's it called? I'm having a mental blank. Processor gives me a massive 7.2 RAM 7.5 graphics 5.5 gaming graphics 6.3 and primary hard drive 5.9 which is standard for all 7200 RPM hard drives if I were to get a SSD which I plan to do in the future it should go up to I don't know because I've never used a computer with an SSD 
other than a MacBook Pro. Um, what else? Might do some benchmarks, so I'll be back once I do that. So, there's my score with uh, Performance Test 8. Um, I believe this isn't the best of scores, obviously, because it's not the best of computers. But, uh, I reckon that's actually decent. Hmm. I, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, okay. So pass mark rating, yeah, it's not the best, as you can see. CPU mark is better than a quarter duo. And, uh, better than a amped phenom, or phenom, or however you say it. Graphics is going to be horrible. Or not. 2D graphics is pretty good, actually. Wow. 3D graphics, obviously, is shit. And my graphics card isn't much better. Memory, well, 8 gig. That's all you really need. So it's pretty good. And my hard drive. They're not SSDs. So, it obviously isn't that great. And then just individual doohickeys. Alright, so that's that. And now I will pull the computer out and show you the under boobs of the computer. Yep, that made sense. Alright, so the lighting again ain't gonna be that great. Let's just sit down. Oops. So there we have the cooler. It does say Antec and it's not actually that bright, but um, yeah, the camera's not going to focus. Um, there we have a very dusty um, power supply. Two hard drives, a nickel drive, up there you can sort of kind of see the LEDs. There's a MOBO, and then my craptastic cable management, which is mostly because of this. Uh, that connects right there, and then, yeah, I'm going to sort that out. <laughs> so, yeah, this has been a shit-tastic, a shit-tastic overview of my custom build, so I will probably do a better one in the future. <laughs> oh, there's a back, just if anyone is wondering. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.